Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Davina Shinsky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits. Today's show is titled, Seven Design Tips You Need for Your Digital Marketing. It doesn't matter whether you have an offline business or an online business, you will always need to have an online presence, even if you have the brick and mortar store. You have the millennial generation who grew up with computers and you have Generation Z who grew up during the digital era. And they do most of their purchases online today. Or they do it through their smartphone. So you need to be able to adapt and understand digital marketing just so that you can reach those people because if not, you will be leaving money on the table. There's now an abundance of content on the Internet. Brands, both big and small, are jostling for space to reach their audience, constantly innovating and creating more content in an effort to stay on top of mind for Internet users. But this rush to create content is, is more likely to lead to burnt-out marketing teams than see any discernible improvement in one's digital marketing strategy. Digital marketing is all about content, whether you're creating a magazine or an ebook or just putting out articles. All of it is digital today. Any videos, whether they're animation or whether they're you actually filming yourself, whether you use a smartphone or whether you use something like screen o are very important because today people take things in sound bites and they take it in sound bites because they're part of the MTV era. And that means they got their videos in short bursts and that's how they Take things today. When marketers need to be cognizant of the fact that digital marketing is about quality, not content. And to make your quality content stand out and attract leads, you need to follow a few simple rules. We have seven design tips that you need to know to boost your digital marketing without requiring too much effort on the part of marketers and designers. The first thing is that a minimalist color palette, meaning also, think of it this way. What do you want to do to brand your company to make you stand out? You will have a logo, and you will have certain colors that you will use within your business. And you want your website, and not only your website, but any funnels that you create for sales to all be interconnected and to be consistent. Not so long ago, applying a variety of colors to your visuals was the best way forward. But that is no longer the case. Using too many colors in a visual makes the content look busy.
busy. It confuses the message that you're trying to send. For marketers, both experienced and new, looking through guides on green colors will make it immediately clear that colors need to be chosen carefully. Human beings associate certain emotions with colors. Using too many will give rise to the mixed feelings in the audience. Additionally, the latest trend is to use a single block of color in digital imagery. Blocks of color not only look attractive, but make your visual content stand out in social feeds with the majority of the digital marketing still suffused with photographs, using an image with one solid color has a high chance of being noticed in a busy feed. The example shows a photograph with a solid color hue. The combination makes the messaging stand out and increases the impact of the image itself. The creative use of color can boost your digital marketing by making your content stand out in a busy digital landscape. Today, if you have a business and you want to specialize in doing what you know best, then the best thing you can do is outsource your sales funnels or your marketing to someone who knows what they're doing and spends their time doing it. The thing is that you need to be prepared to pay. Or here's another thing. If you want to do it yourself in the beginning, the best place to do it is on a site called Builderall. And why do I say Builderall? Because this is a platform that has over 27 tools that allow you to incorporate it into your marketing. And when you do so, it also has a way for you to be consistent with your colors and your palettes. Why is this so important to understand that in digital marketing today, you're either going to pay for all of these services separately or you can get them all on one platform. And with Builderall, you can have a virtual assistant that you turn your work over to and all you have to do is set them up with a login and allow them access to certain information in your back office so that they can work on it for you and help you to build your business. So this is the biggest thing that I think a lot of people don't realize that, yes, when you get started, and it's important that even if you don't want to do the work yourself, that you at least understand all the aspects and what it takes to put a digital marketing team together because once you understand that aspect of it, then you would understand exactly what your virtual assistant is doing in helping you to set up your marketing for your business. The second thing is high contract. Another design tip is for using color to make your content immediately recognizable is to use contrasting colors. This is a great way to catch the audience's eye. As most social media platforms have a solid white or black background, a pop of color will immediately attract attention. With the use of contrasting colors, the visuals you use is your digital marketing will be instantly recognizable and will thus increase your engagement. Now, I have a career coaching business, and what I am is a career and personal development strategy coach. 
And I help clients put together a strategy on growing their business and taking it to the next level. One thing that I do on my website and in my sales phones is knowing that my colors are ivory on what, wait a minute, what I call, um, I don't want to say mouth it's, it's a it's a reddish hue, and the idea is that by using the ivory on that, that red, the reddish color, it helps it to pop out so that they see it whenever they're reading something. And I try to put that consistency throughout all of my pages so that it becomes my brand when someone looks at me looks at it, and I always have my logo on the pages. And what that does is that brands me for everything. And the idea being that it's a consistency that is going to be there throughout all of my pages, and it brands me. Bold text. With the rise of Instagram, one would expect text to be the less for a focus on digital marketing. But on the contrary, creative ways of employing text in visuals can make a massive impact on your content engagement. While it can be tempting to put the majority of your messaging in your visual the minimal use of text is the way to go in the current marketing landscape. You don't want to crowd your visual as that will lead to your audience losing the message entirely. Keep the text in a minimum when you use it on social media posts or when you build a blog holder. The visual example shows how you can take your text and stand out in the design. The minimal color and large text immediately calls into focus the message of the post. When you're looking at advertising or you're setting up some type of sales funnel where you You want it to be consistent from one page to the other, but you also want the messaging to be consistent all the way through. You should also ensure that the text is large and legible so that it can be seen easily. Your choice of typography can have a significant impact on your message, something that you need to be aware of when picking out brand fonts and creating visual content with the correct use of text on a visual, you can be able to make a bigger impact than on your audience and increase your digital marketing engagement. Now, here's something else to think about. When you are giving out a message, always make a point of telling a story. As a professional speaker, one of the things that we learn to do is that when you have a point to make within your presentation, tell a story. And Let that story demonstrate how using that specific point is incorporated into the story so that it emphasizes just how important that is and just how to do. Well, let's say, let's put it this way. If you have a problem and you are talking about that problem and you want to make a point about how someone overcame that problem, then you tell the story of how 
that happen? There's a story that I'm going to talk about, and it's called the fuzzy tale. And the fuzzy tale really talks about positive reinforcement and how it's incorporated is that you look at a family and in that family there's a mother, a father, a son, and a daughter. And they would always give out warm fuzzies in life to anyone they met. And eventually a witch came along. And the witch was very jealous. So what did she do? She went to the family and she told them, don't give out warm fuzzies anymore because then they will run out. Because they had a pouch that they supposedly used to take the warm fuzzies out and give them away. And so she told them that eventually those warm fuzzies would eventually disappear. Well, so what happened was they stopped giving out warm fuzzies and they started giving out cold pricklies or false fuzzies. And then you notice the city started to shrivel up and die. And then a hip woman comes along and she sees what's happening and she goes to them and she tells them, that it's okay to give out warm fuzzies because they will never run out. And then the family started giving out warm fuzzies again, and you started seeing this, the city begin to thrive and grow. And what's the point of that story? That it's important that you give out encouragement and love and respect and positive reinforcement to the people around you, because if you don't, then eventually they will, take, in, in essence, within themselves, they will shrivel up, they will put on a mask, they will mistreat the people around them because they were mistreated, but if you show them love and respect, then what do they do? They show the same thing to other people, and this is the point that was made in this story. So it just shows you how, whether it's in digital marketing or whether it's in your everyday life, just how to do things in a way that is consistent. And telling the story has to be consistent. Now, leave frames behind. Social media used to have a set framing system for its visuals. The subject of your image would generally be in the center with all the content neatly contained within the image. But now, asymmetry is ruling the digital marketing route. People no longer want to see clean lines or self-contained imagery, chaotic use, of space is becoming far more attractive with off-center visuals and broken grids that favored choice for marketers, the use of varying layouts also guarantees more exposure to audiences while a large segment are still using framed imagery, your asymmetrical visuals will gain more attention, and it plays fast and loose with Instagram's square frame, which immediately makes it stand out in social media feed. So just remember this. In digital marketing, social media is, is a very important part of how you market things. You've got Instagram. And the, the neat thing about Instagram and Twitter is that it's a good way to control the message that you want to send out. The removal of standardized framing allows for great creativity on the part of designers 
and ensures that audiences notice your visuals when they come across it on their timelines. Flexible branding. Making an attractive logo for your brand is hard work. And once you have settled on a design, you obviously don't want to change it. Doesn't that completely negate the point of creating a logo in the first place? Not in the current digital market. Your branding needs to be flexible to align with the various occasions, such as the rainbow logos for pride, while still being recognizable as your brand. Additionally, you also need to think about the size of your logo, as it will appear differently on different platforms. Your logo needs to be flexible enough to fit into the thumbnail of a social profile picture while still being visible to the audience. Your logo may have been a part of your company's image for years, but it is now time to look at how to adapt it to changing circumstances. When you think about your logo, Remember, in the past, your logo was usually used on your business card when you handed it out. But today, it has to be consistent with your website. It has to be consistent with your digital marketing message. It has to be consistent with almost any type of online digital marketing that you are doing today. And why is all of this important? Because you are branding yourself with everything that you do online. And why is branding so important? Simple reason that you want to be the one to stand out. You want to be high in Alexa. You want to be higher on Google Analytics and what is it that when someone sees a specific logo that remember something? We're dealing with visuals today. And if you use your logo on Facebook or any type of picture that resembles your logo, guess what happens? It gets a light and it starts to write higher so that everything that you do after that becomes consistent. It all works together. Be consistent. According to the late branding statistics, consumers need to interact with their brands five to seven times before they even recognize it. That means that all those five to seven times, your branding needs to be clear and visible of being as creative as possible with your visuals is the key to making memorable content. If you do not use your branding in some way or form on all your digital marketing efforts, the entire exercise falls apart. Consistently brand your visual properties, and your logo, without overwhelming the design with it. Actually, what we've been talking about here throughout this presentation today has a lot to do with being consistent and how that consistency plays out throughout everything you do, whether it's in your content, whether it's in your videos, whether it's in your ebooks or your magazines, your message needs to be consistent. If you notice on everything, and let's go back and talk about the thumbnail and why it's important with all of that with the consistency, that when you put together your videos on YouTube, you use a thumbnail. Why? Because you're using a visual.
visual that's the same. And in doing that, what's happening is it becomes recognizable as you the first time they see it. That's what you want people to do. It's like when you look at the the yellow arches of McDonald's, whenever you see those yellow arches, you think of McDonald's. Why? Because even today, although they don't have the actual arches of the building, they do have it in their their billboard that they use right by the building so that it becomes their recognizable logo that has been around for as long as Roy Clark has owned McDonald's. Use templates. One of the primary ways to create consistent yet flexible content is to use social media templates. Most online tools have several customizable options. It gives you access to icons, illustrations, and color palettes that enrich your visual marketing. You can use and also design your own brand kit on these tools so that your branding consistently appears across all your visuals, as you can see from all of the posts and things that we have been talking about. And remember this, we have been talking about digital marketing and what makes everything work together and how it all brands with each other. Because as time goes on, as more and more entrepreneurs start an online business, there's going to be a lot more competition. And how are you going to remain consistent? How are you going to remain in a position of authority and be the one that being looked for is that you want to put a visual in the individual's mind. Now, whenever a speaker tells a story, the descriptive words that they use paint a picture. And in digital marketing, you also have to be able to paint that picture in their mind, and well, uh, now I've got it, that my colors are maroon and ivory, and whether I often use the ivory on the maroon because the ivory will pop out at you, and by doing so and by being consistent with that in those colors, then what am I doing? I'm creating a visual in someone's mind. When I tell a story, like I did earlier in this presentation with the fuzzy tail, I painted a picture in someone's mind on by telling you that and demonstrating how warm fuzzies make you feel all warm and loving and taken care of and how false pricklies and cold Cold pricklies and false fuzzies make you feel cold and unloved. And remember, you can go to my website, and that website is the number one, personalcareercoach.com, and sign up for individual or group coaching and learn how to take your business to the next level.